see migration that is simply a movement of people or individual from one place to another this phenomena is as simple okay hello guys myself akshay guru faculty geography optional and gs so today i am here again with one more interesting topic right that you know that finds a connect with the physics itself like this model right or this particular theory or approach it reflects a application of physics like tendency like the generalistic tendency as that mention right say in geography as well so this model that typically deals with the migration okay or the demographic aspects of society it derives its inspiration from the physics itself dekho you for sure right have heard about gravity or gravitational force now as you know gravitational force is simply or gravity is what the force of attraction that exists between any two bodies in the universe right ab gravitational force that was first identified right scientifically calculated by the newton and what according to him like he had given a formula like to arrive at the gravitational force what it is a product of mass between two bodies so we are trying to consider for the purpose of gravitational force calculation and the square of distance between them so what is gravity gravity or gravitational force as in it is a product of two forces divided by square of distance between them and g is anyway the constant right so gravity it is simply the force of attraction that exists between any two bodies in the universe ab dekho in geography right there was a tendency in 19 20s 30s and later that we should write geography should be you know like focused more on it should be a generalistic subject it should try for a generalization see what is the case with the geography the thing is ki geography generally free, uh, uh, what is a systematic okay or a regional approach subject that deals or that believes in description description of phenomena means like for africa separate kuch case rahega for asia separate kuch case rahega europe and like for any other special location you find some difference in like that phenomena geographical phenomena is that what happened in 20s and 30s there was a tendency right <clears throat> strong tendency i would say rather that we should make geography more generalistic in nature we should make geography more you know like formula based formula oriented subject and just in this attempt then you will find this model of gravity was proposed now you must be pretty much clear ki iska background kya hai pehle maine i have explained you about the gravitational uh, law force right by newton then why it is you know like having its uh, what a kind of reflection in geography as well because geographers wanted that time right okay we should create some formula right on those formulas in geography so it must be like a applied subject as it seems okay now see this resulted then gravity model however this gravity model is more appropriately for the demographic phenomena of migration see migration that is simply a movement of people or individual from one place to another this phenomena is as simple theek okay? hai this phenomena is as simple right derivative of overall population growth in a region yes so for that matter 
you need to understand right for the purpose of population planning you should understand this aspect of migration see now this model was actually given by william really in 1931 right that era the time was quantitative revolution phase in the geographic as a uh, approach so william really in 1931 had proposed this gravity model and what see as per the model the number of people moving between place a and place b see a and b two different locations is equal to is equal to what the population of a multiplied by the population of b divided by the square of distance between them yeah dekho do you find any resemblance with the uh, newton's law of gravity as well newton's force of gravitational it simply that the just like he imagine right that the like gravitational force there is a kind of migrational force as well that exists between two cities however and this force is then determinant of the migration wave from one region to another yeah so this theory state that larger towns are more attractive to migrants than smaller towns the simple the case is ki jitna zyada population mein difference hoga between two cities you will find intensity of migration goes on increasing for example right is a delhi now delhi because it has it it already hosts a significant amount of population you will find now it is the destination for hundreds and millions of individuals yeah those you know entered in delhi every year every decade in fact right so simple sa case now see uh, just again to this gravity model you will find this more developed countries will be more attractive to immigrant than less developed country see again it has some uh, inferences for the right to so, bas kuch nahi karna hai you need to apply this concept of gravitational force over on the migrational model theek hai see now ab iska uh, uh, formula kaise derived hoga so this model is simply like this is what population area a hai area b hai theek hai population of p1 population p2 okay and the migrational intensity or magnitude population 1 multiplied by population 2 divided by square of distance between them square of distance between them that gives you this figure of see this migrational intensity or magnitude between any two different so this is what this gravitational model of or simply gravity model of migration is it really relevant today answer is partly yes the thing is the abhi bhi you will find jaise i have already explained you about for delhi right so for delhi like the this is what a larger populous center and it still attracts a larger base of population than you know in any other counter magnet those are in operation like buland shahar hai ya panipat hai sonipat hai right to ye kuch counter magnets hai patiala so this counter magnets even somehow like do, do they attract population significant population however not as equivalent to that of delhi the sir delhi ke liye kaise ke you will find that is applicable say uh, in the international domain as well yeah you'll find for london for paris for tokyo you'll find that is still applicable or even on a larger scale if you want to apply that like us okay and if you compare any other country like other countries like ukraine right so less populous country hai you will find still the level of development bhi agar same hoga then even the uh, the uh, migrational behavior of individual right it is more tilted towards the more populous country region or country the reason being see now you have to simultaneously understand the psychology the reason being because see the migrant wave particularly is looking for the better standard of opportunities right better standard of living right so it is more you know like strong probability that in the large populous center it would rather provide you the 
uh, you know the required facilities and the standard of living further however however see ab iske kuch limitation bhi hai the thing is that it is not you cannot generalize the subject you cannot generalize the you know migration attitude of individuals the reason being kyunki basically you will find human behavior cannot be predicted absolutely because see why quantitative revolution suffered a loss right after 60s and 70s one of the major criticism of this is it considered human as highly rational and economic and volpert right he so severely criticized this basic belief of quantitative revolution that here as well it consider that man will rather follow migrationary pattern based on some formula or model however according to sachs wherever you will find human behavior involves it is very difficult to predict the outcome of the process or phenomena yes so gravitational model though it find some relevance though it find some applicability right even uh, in the uh, contemporary world as well however there are many limitations to this belief of gravitational model i hope guys this model is pretty much clear to you now okay uh, upsc already had a question on this particular gravity model as well and believe me it is really like easy to understand when you find its real time application that believe me is really interesting to further connect with the real time reality okay on the ground reality guys so yes this is about gravity model if you really like it yes please like it share it and subscribe for that thank you